What's up everybody? Got a different type of review for you. Uh, this is a food review. Um, it's Buckeye Brownies, very expensive brownies. This little box here was almost $50 after shipping, which is just crazy. However, if they're the best brownies in the world, Why maybe it's worth it. They're very unique, four different flavors. Uh, got my little nephew here, DJ. He's gonna taste test these with me. What's up guys? And my son's in the other room, he'll taste them too. and tell you what he thinks about them, but let me show you what you got. This is how it gets delivered to you. It's two pounds worth of brownies. Each chunk is half a pound, I believe. Um, this is how it gets to you. Nice box, a little bit of bubble wrap, uh, information about the brownie, and of course a thank you card uh, with how to keep them warm and stuff like that and how to store them. Uh, these are big, thick brownies. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, Holy I mean yeah, look at that thing. They're huge, dude. Massive. Like, I believe this is a half a pound, but it feels like it might even be a little bit more than that. Yeah. Maybe it's a one. I don't know. I'll update you later, but uh, it has Oreos, chocolate chips, more Oreos baked inside, and then some other stuff. Let's see. But yeah, that's a real thick one. I like the edges. So that's going to be my favorite part, I bet. Um, the only thing I can see that I don't love, it doesn't look like it's fully like cooked all the way. Maybe it's just on the edges. But um, really not that big of a deal. I'm sure it's going to taste great. Oh, and there's white chocolate chips in this as well. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna just going to cut off, you know, about half of it and then split it in three ways so we can each test it. And we'll let you know what we think about them with honest review. I did buy these myself, so nobody sent these to me. I just thought it might be a fun video. Mm -hmm. So this one is, this one's called Cookies and Scream. Some of these are Halloween based. So this, this actually has a cookies and cream pop tart oh, wow. built into the whole thing. Uh, cookie dough infused with cooked crushed Oreos and white chips. Yeah. And then it even has a cookies and cream uh, Hershey's bar on the top along with more chocolate chips. Now this one, I like peanut butter stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. So this one should be amazing. This one has Reese's Pieces on top a full Nutter Butter cookie, and then in the middle is more Nutter Butter cookies that are full. Um, and then it's a chocolate base and a blondie base. So that one I think, my, just guessing, is going to be my favorite. That one's going to be good. Uh, this, this one is Bad and Butterfinger. So if you like Butterfingers, this one's probably going to be amazing too. So it has actual Butterfingers in it. Um, I think it's Butterscotch Chips. I get, oh, these have Nutter Butters in there as well, so hopefully we like the Nutter Butters because they both have them. But uh, regardless, uh, this should be pretty good. We're going to give you our honest opinion. If they're great, you'll see it on our face. <laughs> if they're gross, we're going to tell you they're gross. They're very expensive. Um, I just kind of want to do this for fun with my son that I had invited him over. He wanted to try these when he came over, so said, why not? So let's go ahead and which one do you want to try first? Okay, this one. Like that one? Okay. I'm, I'm not as big as a peanut butter fan, but I do like peanut butter. Yeah, lately especially, huh? Yeah. I don't like peanut butter that much. So this one's cookie, some, Cookies and Scream. I think that's this one. I forgot. I'll, I'll put it down in the description, each one that I got. But uh, we're going to start with that one. Get this out of here. This one's called the MVP. It's got it on the back of the package as well. Uh, brownie base layered with chocolate cream. Sandwich cookies topped with cookies and cream cookie dough. Topped with more cookies and chocolate chips. That one sounds so good. So these are very healthy. <laughs> I need to try them. Yeah, yeah I'll give you a piece. Smells like a brownie. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Does smell good. These are these are a big freaking oh, brownie. Is there um, peanut butter in that? This one doesn't. No, not this one. Uh. <laughs> so let me cut it in half. Then we'll cut that into like thirds, and then we'll, that's our sample, because these are huge, so we can't eat all these right now. Uh, can I try the like, catcher it first? Go ahead. Yeah, go for it. I'll t I don't care if it's the edge or not. No. You ready? Right, I'll take the edge, because that's what I like the best, but. Yeah. So There's grab like that. A whole it's water. literally a. Tastes gooey. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It may not be cooked. Although the inside, further in, looks fully cooked, see? So this edge piece... <laughs> so this edge piece will probably be be better. 
We'll it save was, these for later. You can reseal them with these little pouches. If it was cooked more than it's pretty good. on the inside, that would be better. Oh, that's all you're trying? Yeah. I'm not a big white chocolate fan, but I'll try it. I like it. Feels like Pop Tart. What do you think? <laughs> it's pretty good. I like this one. When you get the Oreo in, it's great. Yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. Nice and soft, even though it was sent through the nail. Yeah. For 40 bucks? I'll be honest, I'll probably never buy these again. But that's just based off the price, and honestly, I don't need these. <laughs> yeah. But uh, worth a try. I mean, if they're cheaper. In the very beginning. I mean... I don't know. I think I'm going to that. That, that was pop tart. That was that was? Yeah. That was and cream pop tart. Guys, I'm definitely going to like this one way better. We'll see. It looks like it has a pop tart in the middle. I think that was, no, I think that one's the one with pop tart. And no, this is a pop tart. Oh, that was good. Has good. A piece no, of you're right. That's a cookie. My bad. See, we're professionals here. That's, yeah, that's a, like an Oreo. Yeah. All right, so out of 10, what would you give this one? Oh, out of 10. That was pretty good. That was pretty good once you got done um, with it. I'd give um, it... I'd say at least a 7. A 5.5. You didn't like it that much? It, it, was, it was a little bit gooey in the middle. Honestly, but... like an 8. Oh, water go. Oh, I need to go to the gym after this. Yeah, you do. All right, now I'd, I'd probably give it a close 7.5 or so. That, that was actually pretty good. That was good. It was actually better, like, after you... I swallowed it, it, digested it. Yeah. This one feels even heavier. It's more dense, I think. Yeah, doesn't it? All right, guys, now we're on to the cookies and scream. It's a Halloween one. Ooh. Ooh. Brownie base and layered with cookies and cream Pop Tart. Topped with our homemade Oreo overload cookie dough infused with crushed Oreos and white chips. All topped with chocolate chips and a mini cookies and cream bar. I mean, if that doesn't sound good to like 75% of the world, then. I don't <laughs> think what will. I mean, what will. This one has a lot more uh, grease at the bottom. It's like yeah. they cooked it, but like barely any. Like, see how that piece funny. of chocolate is it melted? Alright. That's just me. Well, I'll try it first. I just don't think they melt chocolate. Okay. I don't have had that. Let's see, guys. You know, throw this piece on yours since you, you like ready? it. Ready? You know, like, no, I do. I, I know that's okay. what you were pointing out. Yeah. This one is going to be a lot more brownie. Tastes like Pop-Tart no... again. You don't like that either? They're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> They're my favorite. I mean... I don't like it as much. Tastes like the, small, the chocolate Pop-Tart. It's still good, of course. I mean, it's a brownie, but... Yeah, I like the one with the blonde in it as well. Yes, yeah, I, I like this one more. Yeah, that one's best for her. This one's not bad by any means, but... Yeah, mm. it's like this. Not a big fan of this one, actually. Okay. Yeah, this one I'd give like a... Like a six. Maybe a six, yeah. I don't even know if I'll finish it later. It's too much chocolate. Yeah. That's all it is. So if you love chocolate, no, that'll be good. Then you're set. This one was really good. Yeah, that one was a lot better. All right, this one is bad and Butterfinger. So it's got the blondie base, layered with Nutter Butter cookie sandwiches, topped with our homemade Butterfinger loaded cookie dough. Goodness. Infused with butterscotch chips. That's the only thing I may not like. I mean, butterscotch is fine, but maybe they should use peanut butter chips. But anyways. All top of the crush of Butterfinger and a snack size Butterfinger. So, this one should be pretty dang good. <laughs> pretty dang thick. I want like a full edge this time. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get some Butterfinger in there. Yeah, I'm not big on peanut butter. Hard right, as Butterfinger. This one has the actual Nutter Butter cookies in it too, I think. You gonna try this one, Cole? Nah, I'm not big on peanut butter. Alright, I have a feeling. I think the last one's gonna be my favorite, but I think this one's gonna be really good too. I'm not a big fan of peanut butter, but. Let's try it. I'm gonna try. Is it good? Oh. Well, 
Pretty good. That's good. It's my favorite. Yeah, this one's the best so far. That first one was pretty fire though too. This one's good. Yeah. I'm not even a big peanut butter guy. I can't taste too much peanut butter in it though. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I want to try it with the butterfinger. Um, this is like almost tied with the first one, actually. Mm, I, a bite of butterfinger is good. Like a. I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> my favorite. Probably an eight. This one's easily an eight. Yeah. Really good. It's not like super peanut buttery, but the no, butter. No, it's not. Here, yeah. It's, it's like pretty good. The butterscotch chips are fine. You can't even tell they're in there. All right, so this one's my favorite so far. Yours? No, the first one. Still was. the first one. All right. Yeah. Now the last one. The last one should should be ridiculously good. That one looks decent. It has freaking nutter butter and Reese's peanut butter, Reese's pieces all over it. He was eating this. And yeah. it's a. It's a uh, brownie and blondie base. Yeah, that's the thing on the bottom. Brownie base layer with nutter butter cookies topped with Reese's Pieces cookie dough topped with more Reese's Pieces on a nutter butter cookie. Like, it's heaven. Yeah. So this, this one's going to be probably the best. Can we be wrong? Sure. All right, let's go ahead and cut our, our section up. We'll get some cookie in there. I'm full, dude. I know, me too. And this is just... And you get half? Mm. I'm not eating half of that. It's... You want a piece of cookie or not? You want to Well, it's inside of it, too. Is yeah, it... this one's going to be crazy. All right, ready? Good? <laughs> Pretty good. The nutter butter is like, you know, it's usually crispy, like a chips away. I guess because they baked it, it's super soft, so it's actually pretty good. I think surprisingly, I like the Butterfinger one better. Actually, I do too. Yeah, this one's pretty good though. No, it's good. Oops. It's still like good. 7.5, maybe. Yeah, I'd say the Butterfinger one is the best. This one's good. It's good. All right, so best one for me, I'd say for sure is the Butterfinger one. That one is good. So that's mine. That's probably your second. That's my second, yeah. First one for him was the one with the Oreos on top. I said that's easily my second. Yeah. That's his first. This... Cookies and Scream is my last, I think. Yeah. There's almost it's too much chocolate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a, they're all good, no doubt about that. But if you're picking, you know, one through four. And then third, I thought this would be my favorite. And it might have been almost a tie with this one. Like, still good, but, you know, that's the way I would put them. I think the only difference for you would be probably that one over there and this one over there. Yeah, probably. So, so really good brownies, guys. Uh, here's the, here's the downside. Yeah, fifty bucks, crazy amount of money. It's something you won't find anywhere though. There's no shop around here that makes anything like this. But in my mind, I, I think if you don't eat them by tomorrow, they're not going to be very good staying in here. Do you think? Maybe a day or two. Maybe a couple of days. Yeah. And I don't even know if I'm going to go back to finish them. Maybe maybe the Butterfinger one, but I think they're good, but I don't, it's probably something I would not order again, but it's worth, especially if you have people to do it with. Yeah. If this was just me reviewing those, I would have never done it, but I recommend it, but I think that it's overpriced. Yeah, for sure. So if these were like 30 bucks delivered, still, which I, that's still a lot, but I paid almost 50 after tax and shipping um definitely unique definitely all good they're all moist yeah uh, i'd say there's nothing wrong with them mm -hmm. uh, some were better than others with anything cookies ice cream whatever it may be worth it once to do with your friends 
if you have four or five friends chip in and each each person pay 10 bucks, it'd be kind of a cool thing to do. Because yeah. like I said, you will not find these around just at a shop. These are specialized brownies. Would I get it again? No, uh, no way. That's that's my opinion. Yeah. Any final thoughts? I need to go to the gym after this. No, all good. All good, all right. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you guys like these types of videos, let me know down in the comments. Um, I wouldn't mind starting to do some subscription type boxes. So if you're a company that does something like this and want us to review them, uh, send me a message. My email is in the bottom there. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Like and subscribe. Peace out, guys. See ya.